Hey, how's it going guys? This is Email Los Angeles. Today's a little bit different because I have a 40 foot delivery truck coming to my house today. And I think I made the biggest mistake because I don't think I have enough room for it. Uh, but we'll go ahead and see. But if you guys can go ahead and take a look, I actually have a lot of my inventory inside of my garage right here. And I've been trying to go ahead and make as much room as possible because I really don't know how much a 40 foot container can actually take. I've had items delivered to my house before, but they've never obviously been a 40 foot truck, right? I've had, <clears throat> I've had maybe pallets um, come here. Maximum, I had like eight pallets but I really don't know how many pallets a 40 foot container takes. So you guys will go on the journey with me. I'm actually making room here and going to my storage unit, going back and forth to try to make as much room as possible before these containers actually do come. But we'll see, I'm, I'm excited. And you guys might be asking, why are you getting your items delivered to your house? Why not going ahead and getting delivered straight into Amazon? Well, two reasons. Um, when I went ahead and ordered the inventory, we still had that problem where Amazon wasn't going ahead and allowing you to have maximum room in their storage facilities, right? Their fulfillment centers. So in order to combat that and be on the safe side, I said, I'll go ahead and get it delivered into the United States and into my house here in Los Angeles, because obviously the port is not too far away from here. So I don't pay too much in fees. And the other reason why I'm going ahead and doing this, is if you've seen any of my other previous videos, I've had some leakages on one, some of my products in the past. Um, and that's the reason why I wanted to go ahead and actually inspect the items myself um, because sometimes an inspector in China won't be able to catch any of the defects um, for my products themselves. So I'd rather go ahead and do my due diligence. I've already had a great partnership with my supplier. So if there are any problems, they either go ahead and reimburse me or give me a credit for future orders. So again, I'm excited for this. I'll go ahead and show you everything that's going on today. Um, but let's see if I made a big mistake. So this is the current storage unit that I currently have. It's not big but it gets the job done as far as going ahead and making room in my garage. So let's go ahead and see this delivery. All right, so good news. They separated the 40 foot container into two 20 foot containers. So I have about um, a few of them already loaded up to go to UPS. Have another truckload to go right there. Have them right here. And then I'll show you guys the garage. You guys saw the garage before. Look at it now full of boxes so what i'm gonna try and do now is try and get as much of that again into ups right now as you guys can go ahead and see it's, it's literally the entire garage is full right now so i'm gonna try and go to ups drop up as much boxes as i can before they come back with that second truckload and the reason why i use ups is because they have a partnership with amazon that allows me to go ahead and get heavily discounted prices whenever I ship in items into Amazon itself. And with Amazon, you usually have two choices on how you can go ahead and ship items into their fulfillment centers. One is small boxes, basically individual boxes that you go ahead and slap a label on each one of them, or you can go ahead and take it on a pallet. I've noticed that the cheapest route to go ahead and go on is using these small boxes, unless you have three or more pallets that you're going ahead and sending into Amazon. So for this purpose right now, as far as me making room, I need to go ahead and get all these items out with the small boxes to UPS. And for anybody wondering, yes, it is a lot cheaper once you have three or more pallets that you're going ahead and sending into Amazon, but you have to realize that there will be delays. So my actual small boxes might take, you know, anywhere between three days to one week to get checked in by Amazon, you can expect that when your items or your pallets are delivered into Amazon fulfillment centers, it can take anywhere from one to two months for your items to actually get checked in and start getting received by Amazon. So you always have to keep in mind that you have to have enough inventory in Amazon itself if you wanna take advantage of the discounted prices you get for pallets. So the second 20 foot truckload is now here. And as you guys can go ahead and see, it's a lot more pallets. I do not have enough room in this garage as you guys can go ahead and check out. So I am gonna go ahead and use my storage unit. But when I started going ahead and filling in more boxes in that storage unit, um, I'm maxed out there as well. So again, it's a good problem to go ahead and have, to have all this demand, so much more products, 
to go ahead and ship into Amazon because basically at this point in time, I have this inventory because I know it's going to go ahead and sell. And that's based on me going ahead and growing out this brand. So one of the biggest takeaways so far is that I'm lucky enough to live in Los Angeles near an LA port and have a garage for space and another storage unit. What a lot of Amazon FBA sellers do is they hire a third party logistics company that's based out of LA or other parts um, in the United States. And whenever there's inventory that is allowed to go into Amazon, they slowly start dripping in inventory into Amazon itself. And that's exactly what I did before. But I noticed that a lot of these third party log logistics company is that if you don't have a clear line of communication, there is a lot of delays and lag times. I can go ahead and say, hey, I need this inventory or these pallets to go into Amazon in a week from now. And they probably don't get back to you because their actual port or their fulfillment center or their storage facility that they're going ahead and operating out of is so congested that sometimes you really don't have any control over your inventory and when it's gonna go ahead and get shipped out. So that is why I like to have control and have my inventory with me at all times. But it's just so crazy knowing that I started Amazon FBA around three years ago and I would have never imagined getting a 40 foot container getting delivered to my house full of all my products. It's literally a dream come true. And based on me starting off with Amazon FBA Three years ago, I spent right around $6,000 for my first order to go into Amazon. Now it's drastically different. I'm ordering a lot more inventory, have different SKUs, a range in different types of pricing itself. But now that I'm taking that next step and having 40 foot containers being shipped from China into Amazon, it's such a great experience, right? And I always tell even my closest friends that Amazon FBA is the future and it's just getting started right now if you really wanna be successful. And that's why I went ahead and put together a completely free course. Uh, again, I do not charge for any of this. You guys can go ahead and see it. There's no upsells at all. I just wanna be able to help people know what Amazon FBA is from start to finish to see if that's even a spark that they're interested in going ahead and pursuing. So go ahead and check the link down below and check out this video right over here that kind of shows you my first two months of selling on Amazon with a new product. Um, but that's the video for today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. But until next time, guys, peace.